Hello all, for today's video, it will be an interesting one. I will be showing you all my little side project that I have been working on, a ransomware in c -sharp that is from the courtesy of ChatGPT. In one of my previous video, I have shown that it is indeed possible to get ChatGPT to write us a proof-of-concept ransomware that performs a very basic and simple AES encryption on a file. I have been working on that to improve the functionality and make it more powerful. And today's video will be a showcase of that. I will not be showing the live interaction with ChatGPT, but will quickly go through some examples of the questions that were used to ask ChatGPT. Basically, we will need the following main functionalities in our c -sharp ransomware. We will need a list of file types that the ransomware will perform the encryption on. We will need to generate a RSA encryption key pair. The public key will be hard-coded into the program and will be used to encrypt the AES key. AES encryption will be performed on every files identified that matches the list of file types. After encrypting the file, we will perform RSA encryption on the AES key with the RSA public key. We will then append the encrypted AES key, the IV and the sort onto the encrypted file. So what this means is that the encrypted file will contain the encrypted AES key itself, the IV, the sort, as well as the encrypted file content, all in one file. We will then delete the original file, keeping only the encrypted file on the victim's machine. We will also drop a sample ransom node after that. A decrypter program will also be needed that will basically fetch or load a RSA private key. The program will use the RSA private key to decrypt the AES encrypted key from the encrypted file and use the AES decrypted key, IV and sort to decrypt the encrypted file content. Now let's get started on the demonstration. We will quickly walk through the source code of the ransomware first before showing the actual live execution of the program. All of the code shown are basically provided by ChatGPT. We will be starting the recursive encryption from the following hard-coded path shown here. The list of file types that will be encrypted can be seen as well. The directory walking function is called walk directory tree. It will recursively go through the path and store all of the files identified into a list of strings. It will also display all of the files found that matches our file extensions defined in the array. The start encryption function will loop through the list of strings which are the files identified. And for each file, it will first perform the encrypt file function and subsequently delete the original file after that. Once that is completed, the write node function will be called. The write node function is very simple. It will create a readme.txt file that contains a sample ransomware node. Moving on to the core of the program, the encrypt file function. The first line over here will basically change the original file extension to .luxa instead. This represents the format of the encrypted file and it can be basically anything you want to name it. Next is the content of the RSA public key. As explained earlier, this is hard-coded into the program and will be used to perform RSA encryption on the AES key later on. We will then generate a random 24-byte key string. We will derive a randomly generated AES key from this 24-byte key string. The sort is also randomly generated as shown in the code here. Next is the code that will derive the randomly generated AES key from the key byte string earlier on. The AES key that is derived will be stored in the variable name key. Encrypt the encrypted key will store the value of the encrypted AES key value. We will perform RSA encryption with the public key on the AES key, which is the variable name key as described earlier on. This encrypted key will be appended onto the encrypted file later on. Moving on will be the AES encryption. AES encryption will be used on the files identified. Input file will basically be the files identified with the directory working function and the output file will be the .luxa that we have defined earlier on. We will then use AES create encryptor function from the crypto stream class to perform the AES encryption of the files. Now that is done, we will then append the encrypted AES key, the IV and the sort onto the encrypted file itself. Note that we are not appending the plain text AES key onto the file, but the RSA encrypted AES key onto the file. This means that without the RSA private key, it will be impossible to decrypt the AES encrypted key and to decrypt the encrypted file content. That is basically it to the ransomware program. Pretty amazing, isn't it? All of the code are provided by ChatGPT with minor changes required from my end. 
Next up, we will be walking through the decryptor program. It is very similar as we can see over here. The decryptor program can accept two different arguments, the dash dash local or the dash dash remote flex. Both will attempt to fetch the RSA private key required to perform the decryption. It is pretty self-explanatory. You can either load the RSA private key from a local file path or a remote web server. The extract key IV sort function basically extracts the encrypted AES key, the IV and the sort from the encrypted file content. The first 128 bytes will be the encrypted AES key followed by the 16 bytes of IV and sort. The function will then return the AES encrypted key, the IV and the sort. Next is the decrypt file function. It will first change the encrypted file type from .laksa to now, which means that it will revert the encrypted file extension to its original file extension. We will then call the extract key IV sort function. The RSA decryption of the AES encrypted key will then be executed under the function decrypt AES key. The decrypted AES key will be stored into the variable name AES key and subsequently it will be used to perform the AES decryption of the file content. We will skip the first 160 bytes of the encrypted file because that is where the encrypted AES key, IV and sort are being stored. We will then perform the AES decryption. The decrypt AES key function is pretty straightforward. It uses the RSA private key that is supplied to perform the RSA decryption of the AES encrypted key, returning the value of the decrypted AES key. And this is basically the start decryption function that will kickstart the decrypt file function that we have walked through earlier. Awesome, that is it. I hope you are still with me. Time to move on to the practical demonstration of our ransomware program by executing it. Here is a sample directory created. It contains a text file and some media files that the ransomware will be encrypting. Let's fire up a common prompt and look at the file content. We can see that it is properly formatted, containing the images magic bytes in the file. All good. Now in our desktop folder, it contains the ransomware program, the decryptor program, as well as the RSA private key that is needed for the decryption. Let's first execute the ransomware for the demonstration. The ransomware was able to identify all of the files recursively, starting from the demo folder that we have hardcoded into the program. In reality, this will be the C drive instead. The ransomware will then perform the hybrid encryption on all of the files identified and subsequently, it will delete the original file. Let's head over to our demo folder now. We can see that our ransom node is created indeed, the readme.txt file. All of the files in the demo folder is recursively encrypted and turned into .laksa extension. If we try to check out the content of the encrypted files with our command prompt, we can see that the entire file has been successfully encrypted. There will be no way of recovering the files unless you have the RSA private key. Awesome, this is very amazing. Now, let's demonstrate that our decryptor program returnsomewhere.exe is indeed working. Upon execution, we can see that our program is able to identify all of the encrypted files as they are now ending with the .laksa extension. Now, let's check out the decryption. The ransom node is still there, but that is okay. Let's check out the other encrypted files. As shown in the screen, the .laksa files are now gone. We are able to decrypt the files successfully. The original file content has been restored. That is it to the demonstration of our little fun site project with ChatGPT. 
I hope this video will inspire you to create a fun little side project with the power of AI such as the usage of ChatGPT. It is now possible to turn ideas into functional code and side projects like this. This can potentially help to boost your knowledge as well as your overall profile and even your resume. That is all to this video. I hope you all have enjoyed the content. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.